Hey everybody, it's Bill Stebbins from BillStebbins.com and TheSimulcast.com and in my last video I unboxed the Nexus 7. Um, figured I'd go ahead and show you how to root this sucker too. Um, at, at the very least people, if you get a Nexus 7, unlock the bootloader before you do anything. Um, if you don't unlock the bootloader, then it, you'll have to later on if you want to do any kind of hackery at all, including root, and that wipes your whole device. Um, so let's see here. All right. So I'm, I've got it all focused on my screen, so you'll be able to see the commands. But um, basically, to root this thing, first you've got to boot it up into uh, into Fastboot. So you're going to hold both volume buttons, and you're going to press the power button. Okay. When you do that you're going to get into this mode which looks looks like uh, let me see let me, let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see okay you're going to get into a mode like that that's fast boot mode so what you want to do next is you want to plug in your USB cable all right we're going to plug it in this is hooked up to my computer i already have all the Android developer tools installed. Okay. Now we're going to open terminal. Okay, let me zoom back in here so you can see the commands. Yeah, manual focus for the win. Okay. Okay, so first we're going to do fast boot. And I'm doing this on a Mac. The reason is I have a Mac. I like using my Mac, uh, even though I'm not particularly fond of Apple as the company. But because it runs uh, a variation of Linux, it's easy to do command line stuff with Android. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, this is blurry. I realize that's blurry. Fast boot OEM unlock. Okay, and your your mileage may vary on the commands you need to use. I've already done some some stuff behind the scenes on uh, on the path for my fast boot directory, so that my Mac universally recognizes that when I put that command in. Yours may be different. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. All right, now we get this scary screen. It says unlock the bootloader. If you do. Um, you could blow stuff up, but don't read any of that. Just go to yes, unlock bootloader, and hit the power button. Okay, bootloader's unlocked. That didn't take any time. It took longer for us to uh, to read the thing than it did anything. Fast boot, reboot, dash bootloader. Forgot where flash boot. Okay. So this thing's rebooting back into the same thing. That just kind of resets it. All right. Now we're going to flash the recovery. And to flash the recovery, we're going to do fast boot, flash, recovery. And if you're on Linux or on, on uh, a Mac, this is the part that I love. Because all you have to do is you take your command window. And as you can see, I've got a whole Google Drive full of stuff. There is Nexus 7. There is my root files. Okay, I'm going to take the Clockwork mod and we're going to flash that. Um, that's the Super SU, but we want to put Clockwork mod on it first. So that's called, in, in this case, 6.0.1.0 grouper. Okay, and I'm using the touch one. So I'm just going to drag that in here. And the beauty is, if you're on a Mac, it automatically fills that path for you. And if you can't see that, let me move that up. Okay. Hit enter. Sending the recovery, writing the recovery, it's done. Took a whole 1.25 seconds. Alright, so now that we have the recovery on here, we need to boot into it. Okay, so we're going to do fast boot, boot, and we're going to pull this back in here. And what that's going to do, and as you can see, this hasn't changed any. Let me zoom back out so you can see that. 
Okay, has not changed. But with my command to fast boot, boot, and then I'm telling it to boot the image, we're going to do that once because we want to get into clockwork. There's a mechanism in Android that prevent, prevents you from screwing up and it'll reflash the stock recovery if you boot first. So we'll boot into the recovery that's clockwork and that will take care of that problem for us. So I'm going to hit enter. And this says getting download image. Boom. And there's clockwork. Okay, uh, you'll want to go ahead and reboot your system now. This is all touch. So we're going to reboot it. You want to boot into it once before you really do anything. And then from there, um, I recommend you get an app called Quick Boot. That'll let you boot right into recovery anytime you need to, right from the OS. And there it is. Still booting. Okay, so now let's focus on this. Alright, this is in my Mac again. And this is um, the, the uh, what's it called, Android file transfer. Okay, so I'm going to take this file here, which is the Clockwork Mod Super SU. So there's the Clockwork Mod file. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to reboot it. I've already turned on USB debugging, so ADB reboot. Recovery, and this should reboot, and there we go. From here, I'm just going to flash the root file, which is very simple. Let me see if I can get this in focus. And okay, installs it from SD card, choose zip, and there's the super SU file. We're going to flash it, and boom, there it is. Okay, so if you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments. Uh, this isn't intended to be an all-inclusive, how to root everything, and uh, I know that it seems like it's complicated. The first part is really easy. Just do the bootloader, get that out of the way, then you put recovery on there, uh, then you boot it up, and go ahead and flash the... Uh, the, the root file um, and that's pretty much it there's some other ways to get the root file on there um, I just chose to do it this way uh, so anyway if you have any co questions or comments leave them in the comments and I will be glad to respond to you thanks for watching